Welcome back everyone, I'm Luminous Dark and I'm here today bringing you another guitar lick. The guitar lick that we will be looking at is a fairly melodic one, quite happy and joyful I would say. Again we're going to split this guitar lick into four parts, keep it nice and structured for you. Timestamps of course in the description below. We're going to look at it up close, fast speed, slow speed and of course taking a look at the right picking hand up close fast speed and slow speed. Tabs will be on screen as always and I hope that you enjoy this guitar lick. Now we're up nice and close, let's take a look at that lick one more time. And now slow speed. Let's move to part one of the lick. Part one looks like this. Very simple. The lick itself is a, uh, I guess you could say a string skipping lick, okay? What this means is we're only going to be playing notes that are on the E string and on the G string. And we won't be playing any notes on the B string until the final last note to end the lick. So we'll just focus on these two strings, alright? And the patterns will be fairly simple. It's a three note per string pattern. So part one, starting off on the 14th fret, E string. And then we go four, uh, 14, 12, 10, and then 14 on the G string, 12, 11, and you're going to al alternate between those two patterns. Here's what it looks like. Alright, so it's very basic, very simple. You go up, down, up down. We can't forget, here are the tabs on screen part one. Let's move on to part two. Part two is as follows. After you play part one, you go up the fret fretboard up to 17 on the E string. Part two looks like this. Again, string skipping, and if you notice the pattern here, uh, part one, and for part two, that pattern is switched around. So we're doing this pattern on the E, and then spreading our fingers out for the G string, okay? And again, bouncing back and forth. Part two, you start on the 17th fret, 15, 16, then go to the G, 18, 16, 14. Tabs on screen, part two, right there for you. Remember, take note, learn it, tab it, write it down, do whatever you like. Part three. So we were up here. On part two, then we go on to part three where we shift back down a bit 
to 15 on the high E. Part 3 looks like this. So, we start on the 15th fret on the high E. 14, 12, go to the G string. 16, 14, 12. Again, alternating between those two strings. Tabs on screen, part 3. This is a fairly uh, a simple pattern, I guess you could say, which is why I'm going through it a little bit quicker than previous licks. It's fairly straightforward. Part 4. That's what it looks like. So, we're at the 12th fret, high E. We're gonna go 12, 10, 9, go to the G string, 12, 11, 9. And you're bouncing those back and forth once again. Finish on the 10th fret, high E string, slide to 17. Pick 17 on the high E, pull off. 14, hammer on, 15, B string, and that would be completing the lick. Tabs, part 4, on screen, there you have it. When it comes to this particular lick, you have to pay attention to the string skipping aspect. As you're playing... You might clip the B string as you're alternating up and down. So make sure to really skip that string. Once you're getting to higher speeds, you might still be clipping. So remember to practice it slow first before going up to very high speeds. All right, let's take a look at the right picking hand to see what's going on there. Okay, right hand, fast picking, speed. And now, slow speed. Whoops, that was my watch. One more time. That was the end of today's Lick series. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, you can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter. Please, if you do learn this lick, you can tag me on Instagram. I'd love to see you play it. Remember, be careful with clipping the B string as your string skipping through this lick. My apologies for my neighbors. They seem to be doing something, I don't know, mowing the grass or something. But in either case, I hope to see you again and next time.